I feel as if it's a bit inappropriate to start this video sitting around a campfire, but at this point insensitivity might as well be my middle name. But you're not here to hear me wisecrack about my own dry sense of humour which is just sarcasm exception. You want to hear about the burnt town of Limpany. What a name is Limpany. That is an amazing name. It's like somebody with a broken leg. Limpany. Trademark that shit, boys. But anyways, let's get into this topic. So, the old town of Limpany can be located just south of Valentine as seen on the map here. It's right by a road, so you really can't miss it. It's not hard to spot this burnt down town, to be fair. But you know, it being by road, that's a bonus. So yeah, the first thing that you'll notice, and I've mentioned it several times already in this video, it's kind of this town's selling point at this point, is the fact that it's A, burnt down, and B, completely abandoned. But to be fair, that would be expected, say, a town made of mostly wooden structures, a fire on a really, really dry day. Yeah, I can imagine the entire town would just light up. So, however the fire started, it makes sense that the entire town is completely smitten. Now, there's not actually much going on in this town besides from the fact that it's just a burnt down ghost town, if you will. Though, in exploring the town, I did find like three corpses, two of which rest in the only still intact structure of Limpany, which happens to be made of brick and stone. Hence why it didn't burn. As you can imagine, this structure is a jailhouse. So inside are the rotting remains of two dead inmates. Obviously, when the town lit up, these inmates were completely left for dead. No point in saving people if they're just going to get hanged anyway. Now, I don't believe you can loot either of these corpses, unfortunately. So we'd best move on. Whether or not it's relevant to Limpany, I actually did manage to find a third corpse in this area. Another seemingly rotting corpse that lay just behind the south row of buildings. Now, I actually looted this corpse and it didn't have anything interesting on it, I just lost honour. Still not sure if this corpse is relevant or not, you'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments, or if you've stumbled upon this corpse. Unfortunately for all of you out there with a the dead people fetish, those were the only three corpses that I found. Would have been amazing if I found a mass grave, because I know that there's at least someone out there who would have gotten off to that. Now, oddly enough, for a place that you'd expect to be so rich with history, there's nothing really going on in Limpany. Well, obviously not, it's burnt down. But even around Limpany, the story's quite thin on the ice. But there is one thing of interest that you can find down in Limpany that makes it worth your while. If you head to the old sheriff's department, which I do believe is the southernmost building in this village, inside the building, literally under the desk to your left as you enter, you can find a lockbox. And in this lockbox, there is a gold bar and a special horse stimulant pamphlet. And as you know, gold bars sell for about $500 at fences, so that's $500 in your pocket just like that. Then there's what this interesting pamphlet thing tells you, which, uh, I don't, I'm, uh, science. So yeah, I can imagine this being quite helpful for superior horse stimulants, or something along those lines. It's a pamphlet about horse stimulant. It didn't really pique my interest, but it is a unique item, I do believe, nonetheless, so it's there just for people who actually do care about these sorts of things. Hey, look at that. There's even a bit of trivia at the bottom. Did you know sheep dung dried in an oven and made into a tea cures measles and smallpox? Because that sounds like historical medication. The defecation of a sheep. You know humanity survived, I'd imagine some of these methods would have been effective somehow. Just a bit awfully random at the bottom of a pamphlet about a horse stimulant. Though who am I to complain, I do love my trivia. Now that's honestly all that I could find in the abandoned burnt town of Limpany. If you're looking for a quick turnaround of $500 then that lockbox will be your best mate. And I've also heard that there's a glitch that you can exploit with that particular lockbox. That after opening this specific lockbox, and if you don't take anything out of it and then save the game and then reload it and return to the lockbox, the pamphlet will be gone, but the gold bar will respawn after grabbing it, allowing you to take up to 30 gold bars, which you can then sell and earn up to $15,000 for. At least that's what's come up in my research, I haven't actually tried this myself. But anyways, that concludes today's video, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and let me know what you think about this place down in the comments section. Be sure to go ahead and join the community discord, I would really appreciate that, there will be a link in the description, and I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.